I am so excited for today's prophetic word. Oh my gosh, are you ready? Um, because some of you guys are going to stand up, shout hallelujah. I want to know it in the comments, okay? Um, here's what I heard. This is just the beginning. Okay, and I've got this picture that some of you guys have been walking in this season where God is putting the steps together. Like he is, um, he's giving you some dreams. He's giving you some visions. He strategically put some people in place. Um, and I'm just going to say this for some of you guys, you're a little bit afraid of that. It, it's a place where you are like, God, is this from you? Will it really work out? Like the enemy is reminding you of every time that it didn't work out. And you guys, here's what I hear. This is a new beginning. That your faith needs to rise up. Always ask for confirmation. Always seek wise counsel. Always be in prayer about it. Okay, like I'm not telling you go jump off a cliff and, and be like, okay, here we go. I'm not saying that, okay? But what I am saying is that for some of you, okay, you have been diligently putting the work in. Can I get an amen? Like everybody else is out and they're having fun and you've made these sacrifices. Maybe it's in a business. Maybe um, it's working on you. Maybe you knew like there were some things in you that God has been like trying to press out, trying to push out, right? And you're like, honey, if you could see the tears, if you could see um, just those moments where I felt alone, where I cried, where I cried it out, where I've um, just got quiet with God where I've put praise and worship music on and the tears have just flown. I see you. I hear you. And God is just speaking over you. This is a new beginning. It's a new beginning. Will you trust him? Will you step into that place of this new beginning and, and declare to God, yes, God, yes, God, that's what I want. That's what I want for my life. God, the stuff that the enemy whispers of, of failure or shame or guilt, man, I just, I declare that's not what you what you declare over my life that God hears the truth and declare that take a moment and just declare that what has he spoken what has he promised and I even hear some of you guys need to go write a letter to yourself you need to see that in a year how will it look different what will look different financially, your time, what you give your energy and your money to, the impact that you have in this world, what will that look like in a year? You have been so afraid to dream. You've been so afraid to dream. And you've been in this place where it's hustle, 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 and there's nothing wrong with hustle. There's a season for that for many of us. But here's also what I hear. Also know and dream and ask me what abundance looks like. What does that look like in your life? And go... Go have the abundant life. That's what he has on the other side. That's what he's speaking over your life. 
And so will you let him? Will you let him put that abundance there? Will you declare and dream that, God, this is what my life will look like in a year? God, show me the things that I need to continue on. Show me the things that I need to say yes to and the things that I need to say no to. What are those things? Because here's what the enemy's going to do. Okay, like, let's be real with his tactics. He's going to try to get you to think that, oh, I need all of this stuff in place. I need to put all of these pieces. I need to, I need to, I need to. God is saying, just like he said to Noah, just like he's said throughout eternity when he's been so specific, here's your next step. Take everything that you've done and here's the beginning. And remember that yes, this was a season where you learn the skills, you did, you did the work on yourself. And now here's the harvest. My friend, here is your harvest. Will you believe it? Will you trust it? Will you trust that no matter what's happened in the past, so many times God is having you learn things, having you develop skills, having you um, honestly figure out sometimes if you've walked through things and you're like, I didn't like that at all. Okay. Like I've worked with some clients and I'm like, oh God didn't like those. But here's the thing. Those were lessons that I learned. Okay. And now when that type of client comes to me, that type of um, opportunity comes and looks me in the face, be like, oh, I, I, I know you from a different person. And I know that that doesn't align with who God has created me to be and who he's created me to serve. And so I want you to simply say today, God, thank you for new beginnings. God, show me in all of this, what I've learned, those skills, those healing, all that stuff, and show me how I'm going to use it in this new season. And I want you to write yourself a letter. What will it look like in a year? What will it look like? I want you to dream a little bit. It's okay to dream. It's okay to um, put our hope in God. So get your paper out. Get your pen out. And I want you to write yourself a letter. And I want you to dream a little bit. Okay? This is just your beginning.